Hey everyone, I'm Chris Arbor with Createx Colors. We are here in the booth and in this short little video, I am going to show you guys what I did exactly to prep all the little speed shapes that we have for an upcoming video that we did on our Candy 2.0 series of colors. We did a complete sprayed out catalog for our new catalog. And we did four different substrates, or four different colors, I mean, for ground coat. So we did a silver sealer, we did a coarse metallic white, we did a charcoal metallic that we have, which is new to our line, our W, our Wicked 359 charcoal metallic, and we did our gold, our Wicked 350 gold. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. These shapes are plastic, ABS plastic, so we just gave them a quick scuff with a red scotch bright pad. That's what we usually recommend for doing plastic. If you don't want to lean on it, you just want to dull the surface. So wipe these down with a wax and grease remover, water-based wax and grease remover. The water base is nice because it helps neutralize the static charge because this is plastic. Tack them off and we are ready to spray. So for my first color, I'm going to do our silver sealer, our 6013 silver sealer. And that goes directly to this plastic. It has great adhesion. I did about three coats. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. So this is coat number one. I'm using my Iwata, my WBX. It's a 1-3. It's a great gun for spraying this product. What I'm trying to do is just one nice even coat. It looks a little transparent now, but as that dries, it's actually going to become really opaque. So three coats is going to be perfect. It's going to be two coats to get a nice coverage, and the third coat is going to give the metallic orientation. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our next color, which is our, actually it's going to be our 6002 sealer white, and that's going to be the ground coat for my gold and for my white metallic. Okay guys, we're back and I have our 6001, that's my fault, 6001 white sealer, and that's going to be the ground coat for our coarse metallic white and our gold. The reason I'm using it under the gold is because it's going to make that gold a little bit brighter and it really gives a nice, nice look to that gold. So these are all actually reduced the same way. I'm actually mixing this about 10% with our 4011, so that silver sealer was mixed the same way. So this is our sealer white going down exactly the same way. Nice medium wet coat, that's all I'm looking for. Nice even texture, that's gonna dry really nice. You don't wanna really pound this on, it's a, just a medium wet coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my other shape while this one's drying. And that's exactly what you want it to look like. Nice medium wet coat. All right guys, welcome back. Our white is drying and we are on the last color, color number four, and that is our Wicked 359 metallic charcoal. Uh, this is a little bit different. I actually mixed, because it's not the sealer, uh, what I did was I actually mixed right around 25% of our 4050, which is kind of what I like to do anyway with all of our metallics if we feel it helps with the orientation of the metallic itself, the way it lays down and the way it sprays. But it's also going to help that paint, which the Wicked sticks tremendously to plastic as it is, but a little 4050 in there is going to help the adhesion over this bare plastic substrate. So it's prepped the same way, red scotch pad, clean it, and uh, like I said, 25%, 40-50 in with the paint. And that should take about the same. It should be two coats to get a nice coverage, and then one coat to make sure my metallic is nice and even. So I'm going to show you guys what coat number one looks like. You guys can see that is a nice, rich, even, clean metallic charcoal. So we're going to let these dry up. We'll do a second coat, and when we come back, we will be putting down our base coat color, our metallic white and our gold. Hey guys, welcome back. Our sealer white is totally dry. I just wanted to give you guys a look at that. You can see how nice and even and smooth flat that is, and that is key. You want this nice and even. Even though it's white, you want it nice and smooth. Because any texture, you're going to see that in your next step. And that next step is the application of our Wicked uh, 361 Coarse White Metallic. And that is going to be the perfect ground coat for the candy that goes on next. So what we're going to do with this is pray about three to four coats. We're actually going to use quite a bit of this to get a real nice glitter effect. We want that real metallic effect. And what I went ahead and did was mix, again, our metallic white with our UVLS gloss, our 4050. Uh, I, me I mentioned 4050 before, I didn't say the UVLS gloss, but that's, that's that product, that's a very universal product for us. And what I did again was mix that 25% with this metallic white, so it's gonna help with the, the orientation of that metallic, it's gonna help with sprayability and dry and everything. It's gonna really lay down exactly, really nice and smooth, which is exactly what we want. So about four coats, you can actually over apply this and it's gonna look that much better. So coat number one looks just like this. And that is just one coat. 
and you can see the amount of metallic, that glitter in there. That's only gonna get more intense the more you apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and do probably two to three more coats to really get this thing looking good. And then before we do that, we're gonna move on to our metallic gold. So we're gonna show you that next. All right guys, we are back again. Our metallic white is drying, and we are ready to spray our W350 Wicked Metallic Gold. And I mixed this the same way. So I did 25% of our EVLS, our 4050, to the metallic gold, and it's gonna do the same thing. Like I said, it's gonna really help with that film build, the orientation, everything's gonna look that much better. It's gonna be nice and smooth, which is something that is key, especially when we're spraying candies over the top. You really want a nice, smooth, even surface so the candy doesn't get hung up in all those little craters. So this is gonna be applied the same way. We'll do about two coats, and. Uh, let that dry, maybe one coat, just to make sure the orientation is nice. And again, these are all reduced right around 10% with our 4011 reducer. Our 4011 is our go-to across our entire line. So one nice medium wet coat. Doesn't look like a whole lot right there, but it will. The second coat's really gonna fill that in, and it's gonna look awesome. So we're gonna let this dry up. We'll do our second coat, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, welcome back. Coat number one is dry, and that's another thing, dry to the touch. Every single one of these, you want dry to the touch between coats. You don't want it a little wet, because it's gonna cause you more problems. So I'm gonna show you guys what coat number two looks like. It's really gonna start to fill in, and that gold's really gonna pop. All right guys, we are back. Our base coats are all totally dry. So we have our silver sealer, a coarse metallic white, metallic gold, and our charcoal metallic. So these are all totally dry, and we are ready to start spraying some candy. And for the candy this time, I'm actually gonna use uh, red oxide. I think it's a cool color. We don't use a lot, and it actually has a really cool look. So I have my 4050 right here on the table. And this is actually a good indicator of the ratio, how much 4050 to how much candy. So we, six to one is what I recommend for a spray gun. So anything where a large spray gun, six to one, that's my recommended uh, ratio. And for this, when I mix this together, it actually is kind of right at that target viscosity that I want. I didn't have to add reducer. Right around six to one, you typically shouldn't have to really knock it down with reducer. If you do, 5%, 10% maximum. So I have that already mixed up in my gun. This is my Iwata. This is a Supernova Evo with a 1-2 tip. This is technically a clear coat gun, but it works extremely well for our candies. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. We're gonna do four coats over all these shapes. And you guys can see what that looks like. guys we are back coat number one is dry this is something I wanted to talk about real quick and show you guys it doesn't really look like there's much on here in terms of candy but that's exactly the way you want to spray this if you saw the way I was spraying that uh, it's a little harder to tell on a round shape but I always talk about a 75% overlap so you want 75 75 so that means only 25% of your next pass is getting on that panel you want 75% overlap so it's pretty tight but I put this on like I would spray a medium coat of clear, like an inner coat. I, I wasn't full throttle, like a heavy wet coat of clear, but I want a medium coat, and that's gonna help achieve a nice even film and not have any speckles or any kind of blotchiness. And it's, it's imperative that you put it down very even because that's gonna show through the entire process if you have any heavier light spots, which is why I always recommend going a little bit uh, lesser in terms of that concentration, which is why I say six to one or sometimes eight to one, because it gives you more control over building the candy up. And you'll see, I'm gonna do four coats. And this is gonna look drastically different by the time my fourth coat goes down. It's gonna look really, really good. So this is coat number two. You can see already, coat number two. That's really getting that kind of a burnt orange color. So by the time we build that color up, it's gonna look really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do coat number two on all of them.
All right, everyone, we are back, and I put four coats, finished off these speed shapes, and you can really see the difference in what we started with, with that red oxide, uh, where it had that light yellow kind of brown tint to it to where it is now, and that rich, rich color, and all the way back to our charcoal metallic. So we kind of have both ends of the spectrum here in terms of the color that we were able to achieve. So all that's left to do, these were four coats, all that's left to do is let these dry up and then top coat it for the ultimate shine in terms of that rich, deep, wet look with a quality 2K urethane clear coat. Uh, all of our paints, including our Candy 2O, are fully compatible with a quality catalyzed 2K urethane top coat. And that is gonna give you that wet look shine and that deep, deep, deep color. So we're gonna let these dry up. We're gonna go ahead and get them cleared. But for the meantime, you can see exactly what you can achieve with our Candy 2O system. So for Create Text Colors and Candy 2O, I'm Chris Arpin, and we'll see you guys next time.